One of my favourite things to do in the whole world is talk about really great episodes of TV shows. The title of my dissertation in college was Narrative Complexity in Dan Harmon's Community. I know like my community obsession has been well documented, but it was legit, like I actually did quite well out of it. Basically, narrative complexity is a mode of storytelling in which the shows have more complex storylines. That sounds like a no-brainer, but broadly speaking, and also not so broadly speaking, in the early days of television, shows like Breaking Bad just didn't exist. Storylines tended to be simple because the technology to go back and rewatch stuff and like go through more complicated sections, that just didn't exist. And also, episodes tend to be aired out of order, so storylines wouldn't carry over week to week because it was better for the network if you didn't need any prior knowledge of what you were watching. Even if you've never seen Seinfeld, you might be aware of the fact that often episodes will start with seemingly completely disparate ideas that you know you can't see the relation of, and then they, they come and weave together at the end of the episode. The IT crowd kind of does that a lot too, for example. That kind of thing is referred to as narrative spectacle. Not only are you enjoying the show, but you're also kind of marvelling at the creative mechanics behind it. I get like giddy about that kind of thing. I'm so glad I learned about that thing and that I have a name to put to it because I swear I experienced it so often like I'll be watching like a really funny comedy or like a really well written drama and I just have to pause it and compose myself like <laughs> I can't even react to it can't laugh I just need to like oh that was good. <laughs> I find myself talking about TV shows a lot, usually to Annie, who is a saint and will just let me rattle on, but every so often she'll say like, no, stop, I want to watch it myself, or yeah, I know, I was there with you, or yeah, you described this two days ago. I was thinking about how great it would be if I could turn it around and have people actually pay me to tell them about TV shows, and that's how I came up with my new business. You're probably thinking like, why wouldn't people just watch stuff themselves? There are a multitude of reasons. Maybe you're a busy executive and you don't have time and you just want the basic package. Who's in it? A brief series overview and maybe some of the main themes. And you're going to come to the guy who watched five seasons of The Wire in three days to condense that information down for you. Maybe you want to watch the Fargo TV series because you've heard the pilot is like the greatest first episode of anything and does this incredible job of introducing all the characters and setting up the story, but you can't watch it yourself because you don't like Martin Freeman. I mean, that's insane because who doesn't like Martin Freeman? Or maybe you're like this guy over here. Come on in. Hi, how's it going? Hi, uh, Tim, is it? It is, yeah. How can I help? Well, I'm, I'm going to a dinner party in a few days, and I haven't seen I haven't seen Breaking Bad. Jesus, why not? It's just like I I try and watch stuff by myself, and I feel like like I'm, I don't get it. Like I miss a lot. I tried to watch uh, it was Back to the Future. And I just I don't know. Like it was fine, and, and we're like we're Breaking Bad. Like it got to a point where it was just too late for me not to have seen it. Do you know what I mean? And I knew what they do to me. Like if they found out, so I just lied. I don't feel good about it. And one of the lads just finished watching. And I know he's gonna want to Tim. talk about it. Look, I'm sorry, but you were getting erratic. I don't think I was getting erotic. Normally I would ask about the level of detail you need, but this is a biggie. I think it's gonna have to be the full whack. Strap in, you know, because this is not gonna be fun or easy or cheap. Breaking Bad, season one, episode one, pilot. Fade in on the expansive desert of Albuquerque, New Mexico. 